what is going to allow hedron to survive more bear market it's already um you know been very very good at that but you know why why are hexagons not going to get bored with it and then you know when pulse chain comes out you know they go and play with their new shiny toy yeah well definitely the new shiny thing of pulse chain will take attention away from hedron like that's that's pretty much guaranteed um yeah. but um you know if you have pulse and pulse x you have your own thing you have you can also pay attention to that too um but why hedron would survive bear markets um both this one and future ones to come is essentially um if you believe hex will survive over these times and thrive then there's a high chance that hedron will too and the right. reason why hexagons will probably not get bored with hedron is because they love their t-shares man like like if you yep. say like well the one thing that hexagons want they want their t-share so as long as there's a deal a potential deal able to be uh, obtained by on the liquidation auction hexagons will be paying attention to hedron because they can get the thing that they want the most potentially at a good deal gotcha and, and that, is there anything with why. yeah that's perfect and, and is there anything with hedron uh within the pulse chain ecosystem that might be different um from hedron on the ethereum side yeah so everything like it's a complete system state copy so all the mechanics are exactly the same on pulse chain uh and there is one small difference that i talk about on ethereum versus pulse chain and that is because the gas fees on pulse chain are so low the viability of minting hedron at a higher frequency um the the minting hedron at a higher frequency is more viable from a gas cost perspective right so mm -hmm. if you're paying say on average like two dollars to mint your hedron and the hedron that you're minting is worth 50 cents you're not going to do it because the gas fees on pulse chain are going to be negligible people can mint their hedron at a profit more frequently than on ethereum so i think we're going to see more of a supply drip of hedron um on a daily basis because you can compound your stakes when you're staking your hedron as much as you want. Um, so mm -hmm. like you can mint hedron, add to your stake, mint hedron, add to your stake, your minimum stake length resets. But for people who want to stake for say a year, they don't really care as much. They just want to increase the yield that they're getting. Um, so right. I anticipate more minting of hedron over time. And because of that, the competitiveness of the hedron pool will probably be higher because a significant percentage of that will be staked. So in the early days of Pulse Chain, because people are minting a lot of free tokens as well, kind of similar to when Hedron came out on Ethereum at the beginning, it will probably yeah. dump for quite a while before um, it moves much at all on the Pulse Chain side. Is that right? Yeah. I could see people minting their Hedron to try to get Pulse, Pulse X. Um, right. Yeah, because that's where the attention is going to be. So yeah, yeah I expect, expect a dip. The attention is going to be away from it. Um, but if you're somebody who's looking to accumulate a long-term bag, that's probably the time to, to start. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, to, to, and, and to do, I mean, do that. 